Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been a very long time, I know. Um, we've been away, we've been away every four weeks, but we didn't want to be filming the same content that everyone does. It's a bit boring just watching people having a, having a three night break. So we are away at Run Cottage, a tranquil park in Suffolk, Hollisley, Suffolk. It's an amazing park we came uh, when we reviewed our canopy, which we still use by the way. Um, and we thought the place was wonderful and it was in a bit of a storm when we came last time and we thought we'd come back and uh, when the weather's a bit nicer. So Easter, it's supposed to be nice this weekend, it should be great. I have to say a massive thank you to Paul. Uh, we met Paul yesterday, Paul and his lovely wife, I didn't get her name. Uh, we came away, I didn't bring the adapters for the pump, I left them with the kayak. Um, so we were not going to be able to get the canopy up. Uh, Paul came to the rescue, he had a little um, rechargeable pump that got the, got, got the canopy up most of the way. And then a little bit of faffing around, and Paul helped me holding the um, pump onto the inlet valve of the canopy and we got it up, so thank you Paul. Paul First time it's happened, but Paul said he'd seen, uh, he'd seen a, a video on YouTube, so no one's ever recognised me before. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Anyway, um, we had some major problems with water. Um, the Ultraflow inlet, uh, in, inlet housing broke. The non-return valve became contaminated, and it was letting all the water drain back into the aqua roll, which was causing the pump to come on every 90 seconds or so. Uh, and uh, the inlet housing actually broke. You know, pushing the pump in and out, you know how bad they are. This pistol grip is so difficult to get in, you have to keep these well lubricated. Um, and it cracks, the inlet housing is very flimsy, it cracks. Um, we've never got on with this pump. Um, it's very stiff, it's difficult to get it to the bottom of the aqua regardless of what you do. So we decided to go for an upgrade. Um, I went for the whale. Whale do a version for trimmer, for the trimmer pump. Um, this one is uh, it's got an easy press plug. I'm going to take you around the caravan side of the caravan and show you. It's got an easy press plug um, and it's got a much higher uh, rate of draw. The model for this, this, by the way, for this caravan that replaces this trigger is uh, EP1642. Um, I think I paid £54 for our, our pump. Uh, so the flow rate or what the water draw, what, what the pump draws in is up to 14.8 litres per minute with the whale pump. Uh, whereas the Truma is only nine liters per minute. Um, so there's a huge difference there. Um, and there's some other features I'm gonna take you out to the side of the caravan and show you. Uh, we've been we've used it now for uh, about 12 hours. Um, very impressed. And uh, most of the shower was even a, a bit stronger. I don't know whether that's just wishful thinking, but you know, she uses the shower in the caravan. Um, and she, she said, yeah, the, 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 the strength of the water was possibly a little bit better. So uh, let me take you around the side of the caravan and show you what makes uh, the whale pump better apart from the flow. So, straight off the bat, it has a little notch. Now, when you want to top up your aqua roll, and we do, use, do ours every single day, we have to top up, and rather than unpump, unplugging your pump, you can get that around the right way. That holds on there, so you don't have to unplug. Once you you know you arrive, um, you can plug into the side of the caravan uh, and you've got somewhere nice and safe to keep the pump when you're topping up the aqua roll. And the other thing, as you can see, it's super flexible. So it doesn't matter if you're on a slant where you are, where you put the aqua roll, you're gonna be able to get that to the bottom. Uh, it comes uh, with a cover on the bottom of the pump, which the trimmer doesn't have. And also, when you're storing the pump, there is also a cover for the inlet to keep it nice and clean, free from contamination. So, very impressed, and it's super quiet. So there you go, um, a massive improvement. I'm very impressed with the pump. Um, we've got uh, we've got a trip to France. We're gonna we're gonna do some filming. Uh, for that that's coming up in august but in between now and august there's a few trips planned and a few things we've got to do to the caravan and um, need to repair the worktop and uh, mr chudgingman put a video out i'm probably going to try and use the same product uh, that he used i think it was called millie putty but anyway thank you for watching um i know it's been a long time um but uh yeah i'll see if i can put some more content out and do some more videos and a bit more filming when we go away um thank you uh, if you like the video please think of subscribing and uh, if possible give it a thumbs up Oh, the sun's back out. 
Let's do that again. So there you go. I'm very impressed with the whale pump. It was a great choice, value for money. Um, hopefully it's gonna last a lot longer than the Truma. Um, incidentally, I had to replace the, the housing for the Truma inlet on our last trip, uh, four weeks ago, we went to Canterbury um, and it was just so bad. I had to go to a caravan accessory shop and drop all the water from the caravan on site and replace the housing because the non-return valve was, uh, was just, just not doing it at all. Um, it was letting so much water out, the pump was just virtually constantly on. Um, but yeah, that solved the problem. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.